Welcome to Rise and Shine Daily Business Tech Boost with me, Charlie Latham. If you're a small business owner looking to simplify technology and get real, actionable advice from someone with 35 years of IT experience, you're in the right place. Every episode, I'll dive into tools and systems like email, CRM, marketing and tracking, and break them down into bite-sized tips you can use right away. Your time is valuable, so let's get straight to the point. It's time to work smarter, not harder. Rise and shine. It's your daily dose of business tech inspiration with me, Charlie Latham. Episode number 494. I am actually just going to sort of flip across to Wix today and um, very quickly show you where you can find your domain name management under Wix or your DNS, not your domain name management, your DNS management under Wix. Why do I want to do this? When we are setting up different services to work with your domain name i.e when we want to set up mailchimp when we want to set up zoho mail or google mail or microsoft mail if you want to set up a crm that sends email on behalf of your dns if you've got something that uses your domain name uh, to to identify it and it says i need to verify it you need to go and add this uh this this dns record you need to know where to be able to find the interface to do it. I'm not going to show you how to add records. Uh, if you go back to episode number 492, I think it is, I actually show you how to add DNS records for Zoho Mail. Uh, and you can follow that and extrapolate that out. And if you've got any hassles, you can always give me, give me a buzz somehow. Ping me, uh, send me a PM, come and join my locals community and ask the question. I'm generally happy uh, in, in, in those sorts of environments just to do a quick video and show you how to do it or answer questions directly. Or you can always book a consult with me and get me to give you a hand then, <laughs> then and there. Okay, but today what I want to do is just show you where you find your DNS management under Wix because that's often where you need to start. And once you know where to find it, a lot of this stuff just becomes clearer. It becomes easier to do. So without further ado, I'm going to head across to this Wix account. Uh, it is a client account, so it's going to be very blurred out. There's going to be a lot of personal information and identifying information hidden, uh, but it's a great account to show you because there's not a lot on it. Okay, let's go have a look. Okay, so this is our Wix database. Uh, sorry, our Wix database dashboard. I need more coffee. Uh, this is our Wix dashboard. Uh, when you log into your Wix account and go and manage your, your website, this is the dashboard you will see. You'll notice that here on the right hand side, you have a menu uh, and down on the menu, you've got a set, you've got a settings option. Click on the settings option on sub, sub menu. Under here, you've got a whole heap more information. And if you just keep scrolling down, you've got site, domain, and SEO. We're only going to be working on domains at this point. Click on domains. Wait for it to load. Now, again, this is going to be blurred out so that you can't see who they are. But you've got, uh, you've got domains. It says manage, connect, and transfer domains. It's got who it is and it's got the domain name that has been uh, connected for, for here. This is what you're looking for. This is where you can manage your domain. Now it says here it's managed by a third party. It's connected by DNS. That's fantastic. Come across to the three dots on the right hand side. Remember what I said about three dots a couple of, couple of videos ago, a couple of episodes ago? It's always a menu. There's always something under it generally. Just click on that. And you'll notice here you've got manage DNS records. Don't don't do anything else here. Just go to manage DNS records. And this is again, this is all going to be blurred out. <laughs> this is going to be blurred out. This is where you have all of your DNS records. I'm not going to show you any further from that. I'm going to come back and have a chat to you. 
Okay, I'm not going to show you any more than that. Uh, I, I, I've shown you how to add records and in another video I'm about to do, um, I'm going to show you how to add records again to, to probably to that interface, probably, I think so. Um, so you'll get you'll get a double whammy of it because I did it a couple of episodes ago. I've done, I'm going to do it again in the next episode. But I really did just want to have this one video uh, sitting out here on its own because it's a pain coming through a, a 10 minute video to find that five minutes that's three minutes that you actually need so there it is all there for you guys let me know what you think let me know if you've got any questions or comments uh in the comments wherever you are watching or listening to this video you can always come across to my locals community ask charlielatham.locals.com and join the conversation there if you did find this video useful please give it a like i really do appreciate it it does help the algorithm to get my content out there further and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you find out when i drop more content i'll see you guys all tomorrow bye hey there thanks so much for tuning in to rise and shine your daily business tech boost I hope today's episode gave you some actionable insights that will make your business tech work smarter for you. If you found value, be sure to subscribe, leave a review and share it with other small business owners who could use a daily boost. For more tips, tools and resources, visit www.askcharlieleatham.com. Until next time, keep rising, keep shining and let's make tech simple together.